Hey guys and welcome back to the next tutorial for the tracker tool. So as I said in the next lesson we would be starting with attaching text and videos to the side of buildings. As you can see here this is what we're going to be making. So it looks really 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 nice and it's actually not that hard to do. So yeah um let's get started okay guys so once you started your new project you can just drag in your drone footage again as well as the footage of the ink drop effect so that's just what we're going to be using for our video you can if you've got your own video you want to use or if you just want to use an image of Google or anything you can just you can just drag it into uh, your project panel here so, and then we'll drag our drone footage down to our timeline and now we can just grab our tracker tool okay and then all we have to do now is click on this track camera option okay and you should see it say analyzing in background and here at the top left you'll see what percent it's on at what frame of what frame so it's instead of just analyzing one point or two points it's now analyzing everything everything on the video so only do this on very special parts of your video like the intro or the outro don't do this on very very long videos it will take forever to track it and also it probably will give you some errors so uh, around a 30 second video I would say is the best to do tracking with so once it's done it's just going to do a step two of two quick. Okay, so once it's done, you'll see uh, all of these little X's, all of these little crosses all over your screen. So these are all of the tracking points that it's managed, managed to um, track, basically. So if you don't see it, just make sure your track point size and target size is 100% or however big looks good for you. So we'll leave it, maybe we'll just make it 50 so they aren't as, as big. And then we'll basically just come and we'll choose our first point with this little target here. So you'll see a, when you're rushing over with your mouse, you'll see this little target pitch up and that's basically saying okay this is where we want to place our text or our video so we can even place one at the far boarding down there if we wanted to but we'll just we'll place one right here so now it, it doesn't align exactly with the boarding which is fine uh, we can change we can just change that so you're just right click and you'll say create solid and camera okay and then we'll just move in to this side where we're going to add our little video and you'll come and you'll choose there's a nice spot right here and you'll create another solid and then we'll do one more on this building here so just make sure the target is not facing uh, diagonally like that uh, make sure it's like front facing kind of the same angle as the front of the building and then just right click and create solid again okay so now we just need to adjust the first one here and that one to actually align with the boarding so we'll come click on our track solid one and we'll just drop down the transform and we'll just play around with the x1 z rotation 
so let's line it up okay so now if we go through okay let's also drag it a little bit over and at that point right here we're going to just make it fade out okay and this one we can leave this one looks good uh, it's just the blue one that we need to change so we can just drop down with the transform again and play around with the x one z so it looks like it's on the side of the building okay so here we have our three points that we're now going to make text and a video all right so you we can rename these to um front uh, this one we can name to video and this one we can just rename it to back okay so for the front one we're going to just add a normal text so now we'll just right click and we'll go to pre-compose okay uh, say open new composition and leave all attributes click OK now we can delete our track solid one we can delete this box and we can just add in a text so we'll just add in I can't think of anything so I'm going to be original and just type in text ok and we'll place it right here so now if we come back to our footage you'll see that instead of the box it's now changed to our text and now we can actually scale this up a bit more alright so that looks good so next is our video so we do the same thing you right click on it pre-compose click OK and now we're going to delete our track solid one you're just going to drag in your oh we have dragged it in sorry we're going to take our ink drop uh, video so now we actually want to change the composition settings so we'll just go to composition composition settings and we'll make it we'll make it a video size um, so 128 by 720 just click OK and now we can drag in our video okay we can make the video a little bit smaller and then we can add a text over the video to say video just scale it up a little bit okay maybe we can have it overlapping our video just a little bit there like that so now when we come back to our, our composition here you can see the video is playing with the text okay what sometimes looks nice as well is depending on what you're using if you're using an image you just fade it a little bit and it gives it it gives it that nice like sci-fi effect all right so let's just leave ours at a hundred and then our last little, last little square here, do the same thing, pre-compose, delete the track solid one. If you want to add, make this an image or you photoshopped something like a PNG file, you can just make sure it's dragged into your project and then just drag it in or if it doesn't fit just go to composition settings change your width and height to uh, whatever you need it to be and then we'll just type this as text to okay scale it up and we'll come back to our footage here and we'll scale it up once more 
All right, so that was pretty pretty easy for a, a cool, very cool effect, right? So let's just move this over. So in the beginning here, it doesn't overlap this building. Okay. So now we can uh, render it out. If you want to add a that effect that we added in last time, there is also another way you can do it, and I'll show you how you can also play around with some some cool overlay effects. So you can just click uh, right click here and say new adjustment layer, and then you can just add in your ramp, and then you can choose your two colors. So Maybe let's go for a red color and then make the blending mode. Let's try what add. Mm, it's a little bit too harsh. So maybe let's just stick with the color blending mode and we'll say blend with the original 30%. Alright, so maybe we'll make it just a little less, maybe a darker red. So, I think that looks nice. Let's see what a blue looks like. Mm, maybe a green even. Alright, so now we can just render it out. Uh, didn't add in a song, but you guys already know how to add in a song. It's very easy. Okay, as you can see, our text could use a little bit more adjusting. Uh, but you guys, if maybe you guys found a better spot than I did, and you don't need to adjust it, or you've already adjusted it perfectly. So I'm not gonna go back and adjust the X and Y because you guys you guys do know how to do it so here's our final final project our final product I really like how the video one looks the video one really looks nice so what we can also do is we can maybe just come to our video and we can just pull it out a little bit like that. So it's not smack bang right on the building. Okay, so that was how you add text and videos to the walls and the sides of buildings. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll probably do one more, one or two more motion tracking videos and then we'll move on to, to, more, to more cool things. So I'll see you guys in the next video.